Hey, welcome back to Black Lag Garage. I just want to talk for a minute about this silly little part right here. It just cost a few dollars. Why is there so much controversy over it? Because there really shouldn't be. You wonder why? Come on, let's get into it. I know older model engines like usually 1965 and back, they had road draft tubes on them instead of PCV valves. Well, they work, kinda. Basically all they do is vent all the excess pressure well, down onto the pavement on the road, which is also why you hear so many older people talking about every time it would rain, there'd be an oil slick on top of the road because it vents the pressure, the oil, condensation, everything else out onto the pavement. But it doesn't build, it doesn't take all of the pressure out of the crankcase. It doesn't build um, a vacuum, more or less, in the crankcase. It just vents the excess. So the short answer is, do you really need one of these? Yes, you do. Or you can buy the vacuum pumps and have you know, because there's some people that use them, they'll say, well, I don't have a PCV valve. I have a, a vacuum pump. It's still, it's still pulling the pressure out of the crankcase. It's still creating a vacuum in there. So it's still the same principle. You're just using a different way of doing it. But it's still the same. I mean, let's be realistic for a minute. Did you ever wonder why you see so many of those old model engines had oil puking out of every gasket and every orifice? There is a reason. By using a PCV system and it creating the vacuum inside the crankcase, number one, it makes it a whole lot harder for oil leaks to happen, and it promotes better ring seal. So, I mean, it, it's really a win-win. Now, if you don't believe that using one of these actually works, you remember my 400 that's in my white ton truck when I went to take that junky HEI distributor out of it and stuff. You remember I discovered that they had unhooked the PCV valve? And remember, he was pouring oil out of the front china wall down on the, where the distributor goes. Well, let's go look at it now. Now you will see here that that weather strip along the cowl is gone, so there is water standing on top of the engine because it just got through coming a storm here. And as you can see, the truck is parked facing downhill, so all the water runs onto the engine. But the main the main thing is. Look at the china wall and look at the distributor. How much oil do you see running down and standing like there was? Because remember, it was puddling up. And you can see I've not wiped it because you can see chunks of dirt and stuff. That, that's just water where it run down. But because remember, the oil was just standing there full. It was leaking so bad. But a PCV valve completely stopped it. Remember I said it would help the ring seal better? Because this thing was going through an incredible amount of oil. Now look at it. Yes, it shows over full because it's parked downhill, but I drove this thing five, 600 miles since I put the PCV valve or hooked it back up. Not used, it's not used any oil since then. So there you go. Yes, you do need a PCV valve. Now I understand if you've got an older model car that's supposed to use the road draft tubes and you're restoring it, I get it. And that's fine. You, you get a free pass on this one. But if possible, if you can run a PCV valve, you need to do it because it's totally a win-win. So, I hope this helps some of you. Be sure and hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Me and Pups will be back with another one. See you